All right, so now I wanna go over opening the closed guard and passing from closed guard. But the one thing that, there's three different ways that I know to pass from the closed guard, and this is my most effective one, is to make sure that I keep my elbows in when I control my uh, opponent's armpits. So when I'm here, I don't wanna flare my arms out like this and have him be able to break the hooks off or bring his knee in and shoot a triangle on me. So I come down here and my elbows stay into the side and my chest is like trying to stick out as much as I can so that I open the space right here. The whole goal is I wanna create the space right here as much as possible to get my knee through the middle. And I'll do both angles on this, okay? But I'll be here and I'm gonna step this foot up so he feels like that's the foot that I wanna stand up on or that's the foot that I'm gonna to try to, to use to pass. And I'm gonna step up and then this knee is gonna slide right through the middle. And every time this knee slides right through the middle, this hand now comes and brings the elbow on the inside. Do not bring it on the outside. When you bring it on the outside, he can kimura you, he can set an omoplata up on you. So we want it on the inside, pushing out, okay? The next part is that I want my body to make sure that I'm going to this side, the opposite side of where the knee's coming through. So I'm trying to cover this side so he can't bring the knee shield through and then we have to deal with this, all right? So once we're here, everyone's gonna kinda keep this guard closed because they know that they don't wanna open up and have me pass. What I wanna think about doing is I'm gonna come down, cover this side, my head's gonna go to this side, my knee's gonna go to the mat and push his hip backwards. Okay, so as I open the guard here, I'm going to back step through and come right into side control. So we'll do it one way or the other way. <clears throat> so, don't, everyone tries to set the knee right through the middle. And it's like you want to be able to meet the, the knee with your chest. All right, so I come here, I get my posture where it still has my chest up. I'm gonna step here right through the middle, all right? And then we have the hand on the inside, the knee flaring out, okay? We're going to push through. I'll either keep it covered here or I'll go for the head, but a lot of times I just want to keep it covered by the side, push this back, and the knee's gonna come right into the hip to make sure I don't get regarded off. All right? All right, so one more time, we're here, blocking, Step up, put the knee in, knee comes right through, okay? Now, every once in a while what happens is the person tries to block this knee sideways, right? Like they try to push the knee in because they know I wanna push it out so that I can back step, okay? So as they're pushing this in, this is where I'm going to now knee cut this way and force the underhook on this side. So it's gonna come through here and step. And then close the head come around. All right, so armpits, elbows in, chest up, stand up. Here, feed it through, okay? As soon as it comes through, elbow on the inside, chest down, back step over, knee comes in, and then right into side control. All right.